Hey guys, this is Dimension Master, and I'm just going to say a bunch of quick things before we watch the Pokemon Presents. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes need to be $30 because that's what I see right now. It's worse than X and Y, and you know it. So, yeah. Anyway, I see it at $30 right now. I know you guys are going to be angry at me for that, but that's what I see. It's just that I feel like they need to put a little more... Um, good things into it. Like, I know Pokemon Sword and Shield wasn't good, but I wish they actually put the Pokemon Sword and Shield models, um, as the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I wanted to see that world, but now that world is crushed because they gotta work on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Which, um, which I am still curious about because I saw some hiccups in that presentation, yes, I was mesmerized by the beautiful landscape, but Game Freak, if you need to take your time, take your time, take your time, please, take your time. I could wait another year or two if this game has to come out, because just make this game as perfect as you can make it, um, because that is hanging by a thread. This is the only game that has got me interested in Pokemon. Um, re-interested into Pokemon. But, if this game doesn't succeed, I think I'm gonna have to completely, um, X the Pokemon series out of my life. And I don't want to do that, because you guys are the ones who made me buy a Game Boy Color bundled with Pokemon Crystal. And that's just a memory that I hold so dear, and that's why, Game Freak, I love you. But please, don't screw us over. At least not this time. Please. Anyways, I've been done with rambling, so let's just watch this Pokemon Presents. And see what it has in store for us. Hello everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First, we'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Not important. Unite. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the I didn't of play the it, version but has now been set you know, I heard it's okay to win. Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Right. Not actual game footage. Why do you put that CGI thinking like that's going to be the game? <laughs> Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Your very own tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. Why does it look like this? <laughs> no, there are countless Pokemon. Okay, they fixed the hands. At least. I guess. Pokemon models look good, but the human models don't. stickers on it, that's cool. So you could make it be a little effects thing. The union room is back, that's cool. Oh, you could style them up, that's cool. Make your own Brandon and Dawn.
some of it looks good, some of it doesn't. That looks like the DS. Undergrounds. That is actually a really cool mechanic. Took my Pokemon away. They took other people's Pokemon game created. I like the beep. Not game footage. Okay. Be new. Do something new. Nope. Nothing new. November 19, 2021. These Pokemon games will release. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized Okay. Games. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Venture in the Sinnoh region. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, Pass down through the generations and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous Sheepies. professor researching Pokemon evolution. They're just funny. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. At least they made him look a little bit better now. Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses Rock-type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious yes, activity. Know. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points aye, along aye, aye, journey. Aye, aye. I remember all of this. <laughs> Gameplay features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. I see. Looks there good. are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist Pokemon in Pokemon Hideaways. Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore the grand underground spread out beneath the surface oh, of Sinnoh. Cool. You can use the stickers you'll collect on Still your adventure cool. to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs such as confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles They're even more, more fun. Accessible. 
one new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. That looks so good. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. That looks good. I like that they chose their own designs or whatever. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest move, and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world oh, in real expected. time. Oh, that's expected. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. But is that it? You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in nice. these games. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner Pokemon. Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's moves await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh Okay, region. is that it? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm expecting too much about these games, right? Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with Wow, this Legend looks a lot Pokemon like the Dialga DS version. Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx Dialga and Palkia edition that was released back in 2006 to launch Wow, that is cool. It will be available to purchase but, beginning of course, November 5, 2021. Look forward to it. I'm waiting for the Switch Pro. <laughs> Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which is being developed by Game Freak. Alright, let's see. I don't know who I'm gonna choose. I have close connection with all of them, but I don't know which one. I don't know which one I'll choose, because I've chosen them so many times. Well, it looks better. What is that? Is that a Stellan? It's with a beard! <laughs> it's a Stellan with a beard. Oh, and the city landscape looks awesome! <laughs> Yo! Ah, oh, so cool! What was that? The Growler? Oh my gosh! It's a time variant! So this is how they look like in the past! Stoutman and Growlithe look different in their past! That is cutting edge stuff. Braviary? That's kinda weird. What? Even the fish Pokemon? Man, all these Pokemon look so different. This is definitely a new Pokemon adventure. Ooh, wow. Pokemon are getting violent. This is 
against the Gale of Darkness violence. Yo! They're attacking us and stuff! Now that is growing up with your with your franchise. Not actual game footage. Not actual game footage. <laughs> wow, this looks good. Okay, they did push it back, I think. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon yes. Legends Arceus. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. That looks so good. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Yes. <laughs> Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui, during a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments so surrounding they didn't the call mountain it the on Sinnoh all region. sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. Hisui. Jubilee Village! <laughs> the bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from you mean Team Galactic. regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Galaxy Team. Field of study is the ecology of Pokemon. They're Team Galactic. The We're working for Team Galactic. Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down <sighs> she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress okay. with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy Team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team I think he's gonna be the bad members. guy. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. He's gonna be the bad guy. <laughs> the duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure. No voice and in the course acting, of your work, you'll fine. visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from okay, basic materials. Okay, cool. Apricorns are back. Yes. In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokémon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out cool. doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you I can think that to is cool to though. Up and recover. Once you've you completed the survey finally assignment, by Pokemon. return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Catch Pokemon. Pokemon live all over Yo, the this place. Is so cool, Get close immersive. To carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. 
throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and That's the battle nice. will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat yes! and that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile Style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper He's agile for catching. <laughs> when you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokédex. Oh, fuck. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, oh, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different lot of Pokemon studying. to complete that Pokedex. A lot of research. Pokemon research. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui oh my region. Gosh. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Oh Hisui wow, region. so it's an evolved It has form. strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from so its ears, tail, different... and legs are highly prized as warm so winter clothing. So this is different evolution line. This Pokemon is Basculegion. Basculin. with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and so on it's a ghost set. tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its Hisuian great majestic wings Braviary. is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Yeah, with shockwaves. those psychic weird eyes. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisui and Hisui form of Growlithe. Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks mm -hmm. easily. So Hisui and Growlithe uses it only when Wait, so have it's the a rock effect. type too? The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story. But what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to this finding so out on cool. the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui okay, region. Okay, this looks yourself. great. Okay. <laughs> I just uh, hope it comes out great as it's being shown. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon nice. Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop this after this so broadcast. Cool. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Heart, the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices in 2022. 2022. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. Mm -hmm. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Okay. That was that was pretty good. Um so yeah, I'm still looking at Pokemon Diamond and Pearl as not a thirty dollar game. It looks good. They just put like a little addition and put a little bit more work into it. But still I'm looking at I'm still looking at um Pokemon Legends Arceus. But no, that is looking fresh. I mean I can't believe how much they did 
on how much they actually worked on. It actually looks like it's running smoothly. So I can't wait for that game. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to get it. Um, and I think they put the date a little bit back more, which is good. Because I really want them to take their time on this. I really want them to do this perfect. And it seems like they're doing something really good here. Really, really good. Um, well, anyways, this is Dimension Master saying now rate, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.